What distance will fly the bird until two cars meet each other? First of all, the speed or velocity of the bird that flies is 120 miles per hour. The red car is 40 miles per hour, yellow car is 30 miles per hour, and the distance between two cars is 120 miles. First of all, let to find the velocity, the total velocity of two cars. The total velocity of the two cars is equal to the V, is equal to the V1 that stands for the red car, velocity of the red car, and V2 that's, uh, that signifies the velocity of the yellow car. And now V, the speed or velocity is a distance over time, is equal to V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2. What we find, what we want to find now, we want to find the time, how much time is going, uh, how much time is going to pass until those two cars meet with each other. And if we wanted to find the time to make a little a shortcut, we are interchanging the place of t with v1 plus v2. They are going to exchange their places, or we can do mathematically, but it takes a little bit longer, but I'm taking one a shortcut. And d is going to be equal with v1 plus v2. So just I'm interchanging places of the t with v1 plus v2 plus v2. And now, here I can, uh, I can uh, substitute uh, those values of uh, d, v1 plus v2, because uh, those, all those values are uh, known values. Instead of d, I have 120 miles. 120 miles. And instead of a v1, I have a 40. 40 plus 30. Because of both of them, they have the same units. I'm going to write the units here in the back. Mile per hour. I can write mile divided by hour, by h. And let's find everything what it is. But first of all, let me simplify this uh, mile. I can simplify with the mile. And hours goes on the top here. And... Uh, now, I wanted to do everything to calculate. If we are calculating now, let me take a calculator. And if we are calculating already, it's easy here. I have 120, but down is 40 plus 30 is 70. So 120, I divide by 70. And what do I get? I get 1.71 hour. So, so the time is 1.71, 1.71 hour. So approximately. So we found the time. But now what we want to find here, we want to here, for example, the the velocity of the bird how is applying. We can write v is equal to the, for the bird is equal to the d over t. The distance we already know, distance is 120 miles. We don't know the distance, in fact. We know the distance between two cars, but we don't know how, what distance is going to fly the, the bird. So we are looking for the distance to find. And if we are looking for the distance, the distance is going to be equal with the v time t. With the velocity time 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 and d is going to be equal so the velocity of the bird hub is applying or the speed of the bird is 120 miles per hour 125 120 mile per hour per hour so we can write it this way per hour and here is 1.71 hour And now, just to let me simplify units. If I simplify the units, I have a little bit of this too.
I can simplify this unit with this unit here. And now I will find the the distance, what the distance is going to 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 pass the 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 bird until until they meet each other. But first of all, let me take a calculator here because I lost the calculator. And calculate. I'm sorry, I have here. Calculator was 1.71. I'm approximating. And time 120, which is 205.2. So the distance is going to be the distance is uh, 205 mile. Point two might. So until the two cars meet each other with a speed of 1 of 40 miles per hour and the other 30 miles per hour, if the bird, if the bird flies with the velocity of 120 miles per hour, until they meet with each other, the bird is going gonna, is gonna to make a distance of uh, one, uh, 205 miles.